Welcome back everybody and welcome to Port Bixen. So I'm in the Telokomang area. Um, don't really know where I'm going. I think where I'm staying, the hotel is quite far from here, about 10 kilometers away. So I think I stayed at probably the quietest part of Port Dixon. Um, so I didn't really know where I was going. But it's a lot busier around here. So yeah, the area I'm staying is, there's a, like a PD uh, sign, PD waterfront sign. So I'm staying around that area. But like I say, had a quick look around last night, very quiet. So I thought I'd come here and apparently um, Telakomang is very famous. There's the sign, Kantai Telakomang. So it looks a lot busier down here. It's uh, Saturday today as well, so I'm sure there's a lot of families out on the beach. Have a little look at the beach now. Hello. Hello. Huh? Parachute. Maybe later. Or maybe not. So yeah, there's the beach. Very nice beach. The beach by me is quite a lot smaller than this one. So, obviously you can do all sorts of water sports here. So yeah, um, it's a bit of a random one really, Port Dixon. Didn't, don't know too much about it, but I was, uh, someone has recommended it to me, saying it's very nice around here. So I thought oh, I'll come to the seaside. First seaside back in Malaysia. So the plan is to go maybe east tomorrow. So on the east coast, there's lots of nice beaches there as well. So the plan is maybe head up to the northeast and then work my way down the coast if I can. I think it can be a bit difficult though because the train lines don't exactly run on the coast. Um, so yeah, plan is go up to Kelantan, but we'll see, you know, things change. Don't really plan too far ahead, just see what happens. I think that's the best way. So join me today as we have a look around Port Dixon. So I was thinking about going to that point there, the lighthouse, but apparently according to Google it's closed at the moment, so I didn't want to go all the way there. I don't know if you can see the airplane there, so it's not that far from KL Airport really. Lots of people enjoying the water sports, jet skis, got banana boats. Yeah, everyone is having a good time on a Saturday. It's not that busy as well really, I mean the, the beach does stretch for quite a long way. Um, so the beach is here, they're quite separated, so my plan was, oh, I could just walk down the beach, kind of like back towards my hotel area, but we're all like separated, so... This is one beach, and then maybe I'll walk down and try and find another one. See if that one's any good as well. But yeah, it's really nice here, I mean, like I say, loads of families. Loads of families, loads of restaurants. So it's just plenty of choices to eat here. Just stopped at this one here for some lunch. I'm gonna try something I've never tried before, which is nasi ayam madu. So obviously nasi rice, ayam chicken, and then madu's honey. So honey chicken rice. Yeah, see what it's like. But yeah, there's plenty of. My only problem was picking a place to eat, and then once you pick a place to eat, the menu is so big that you don't know what to have. You know. So I'll try this one anyway. Justin Bieber? Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. It's a good looking guy. <laughs> um, I'm a star. Yeah. Thank you, bye bye. Um, berapa? How much are you? 11. Terima kasih. See you. Lady, lady calling me Justin Bieber. Bye, Justin Bieber. Okay. So yeah, food wasn't too bad actually. It was quite nice. Just like a roast chicken with rice, boiled rice, and then there was some uh, like a sauce with it, which is quite a sweet sauce. So I'll put that on the rice. It was, it was good. I liked it. I liked it. There's chili sauce there as well. So got a good mix of salty, sweet, spicy. Can't complain. So yeah, I've, uh, this is the other side of the beach. Like I say, there's loads of options. If you want to eat, there's a little kind of little market there uh, next to it as well for, I don't know, all your beach stuff. 
but I saw on the way here on the taxi that there's a Chendo place opposite so I think I'm gonna go try that now trying the ABC the other day I thought I'd try Chendol again so here we are Chendol which which one is this Chendol Bullot don't know what that means but we'll try it so I think it's got some sticky rice like green sticky rice pandan rice maybe let's give it a go oh yeah visit my Thailand vlogs you know, all of sticky rice, so this is perfect. And sticky rice, chendol, ice, condensed milk, amazing. Maybe I do like chendol more than ABC. Very good. So that's where I just had the chendol. Ooh, that's where I just had the chendol. Uh, sorry, I nearly about to get run over there. So yeah, just that's where I had the Chendo PB famous Chendo coconut shake. So I love coconut shakes, but I went for the Chendo this time because I tried the ABC um, the other day. So yeah, you know what? After that one, I think I like Chendo more now because that one was nice and simple. All it was was rice, condensed milk, ice, and the little Chendo pieces. It was amazing, and I loved it. Perfect. Um, so yeah. Couldn't really film too much in there because it's a band playing, so it's very noisy, very busy. Obviously, like I said, it's Saturday today, so but yeah, that was good, that was a nice end to my meal. So, I just had a little walk down to the other end of this beach, it's a lot quieter in this area, and um, it's a lot of families camping here as well. I'm currently in the lifeguard spot at the moment, so I've noticed that there's a quite a lot of abandoned projects here as well so on my trip on the on the bus here to Port Dixon and then on the taxi to this area of Port Dixon I've noticed that there's quite a few abandoned buildings so it looks like there's looks like it's never completed really but it looks it does look quite old so I don't know whether that's a cause of Covid or it's before that I don't know so we've gone a bit further down the coast now I'm in Pantai Chahaya Nageri. I think that's how you say it. So yeah, a nice little bridge going across. What I will say though about this area, it's not great for uh, pedestrians, like walking wires. I thought I'd have, because I got the taxi down to the last beach, it's about 10 kilometers from my whole town. I thought, oh, you know, I'll just walk up, go beach to beach, stop for an hour or so at each beach. <laughs> It's too hard to do it because it's all main roads you can't walk i mean like you can see how like the beaches are kind of separated so like obviously here there's a bridge across it so you can cross that way but everywhere else so hard to do even though it is very beautiful and there's a lot of as you can probably see in the distance there a lot of people camping out still nice to see so yeah and apparently there's a night market not too far from here as well so i might stop by there tonight so here we are Asar Malam night market. This is ba Batu 4. So we'll check this out. It's a lot of, there's a lot of traffic on the road. I don't know whether everyone's coming here or what, but I think it's just about to start raining as well. Oh, they've made it to Malaysia. Hello. Sorry? I uh, I bought one in Indonesia. Huh? I've, got, I've already got one, thanks. So yeah, trying to sell me another one. I've already got one. Bought one in Indonesia. I haven't really played with it yet though. I just, the noise is so annoying. What we got, man? What we got? I think a lot of it's the same as what I've already had previously, to be honest. Corn dogs. Terrible. Come, my friends. Can I 
Yeah. 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 I am more dagging. Dagging better. Dagging better. I'll have one then. Start to. Uh... So 
random mix of things so far. I think the food's a bit too big, I've already got quite a bit already. Oh, oh boss, how am I going to juice? Can I get one, something? Love a chalk wipe show. Pop here. That's enough food for me though. Have a, have a look around the rest of the market though. See what else they're selling. Oh, looks good. I think everything else is like clothes and kids' toys. Here, the tiki takis, whatever they're called. sit at out the way so I've got pomegranate juice which is not cheap at all it's 15 ringgit we've got a massive chicken skewer we've got some rice coconut rice balls which is gonna be sweet I guess and then a beef kebab so yeah it's just starting to rain now as well so there is a bus stop if I have to go there so I'm gonna be quick been trying all this. This one looks very messy. Should have got some tissues from him as well. So, massive chicken skewer. I'll just try it. It's actually really good. It is spicy. I was trying to ask him what actually is it. Um, pachik. I am pachik. Am I saying that right? 
I was wondering what sauce he's putting on it. I was asking him is it spicy. I, I think he was I think he knew what I meant. I think he said yeah it's spicy. It is a bit spicy but I wouldn't say oh yeah, it is a bit spicy. A bit spicy, a bit sweet. It's nice though, it's good. I like it. Very messy though. Next up, we got the kebab. It's got a Ramly, uh, Ramly beef uh, wrapping on it as well. So obviously the Ramly burgers. They do oh, very saucy. So just like the Ramly burgers, I guess a lot of sauce. Only trouble is though, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of cucumber on it as well, and mayonnaise, which. Not a big fan of cucumber or mayonnaise, but there we go. Let's try it. It's not bad, it's okay. So messy though, I don't know what I'm gonna do here because I haven't got any tissues or anything. Let's try the meat by itself. It is good though, I do like it. It's just so messy though. Can't even touch the camera now, Let's look at this. So the pita bread is a bit, um, maybe it's a bit stale because it's just falling apart. I don't know whether it's, I don't think it's been toasted properly. So really what I could have done was toasting the pita bread a bit better. Super messy. It's nice though, good taste. So while I'm here, my hands are messy, you might as well try this coconut. She's actually gave me a spoon as well. Maybe I should have opened this one first and I could have ate with a spoon. It's funny, the one that you don't really need the spoon the one that's giving it to me. It's a busy little market though. I mean, the traffic here is crazy. I mean, look, there's traffic everywhere. So I don't know whether a lot of it's coming here or what, I don't know. But So I was wrapped in like a banana leaf. It looks quite gelatinous. Oh, right, it's like green in the middle. It's good, it's another one of those coconut ones that is sweet, but it's a bit salty as well. It's nice though. I think for the price, that's probably the best one, three ringgit. I think, how much was the, I think this was, I think the kebab was five. Chicken skew was five. That's bad boy, yeah. 15, 15, but pomegranates aren't cheap. I mean, if you buy the actual fruit, I think you get two fruits for. I think you get two fruits for ten. So whether three pomegranates go in there, I don't know. But it comes in a nice glass bottle anyway, and it's something a bit healthy, you know, because I'm eating all this grilled meat and sweet stuff. So at least I got a bit of fruit in me. So yeah, just a short one really, unless I find anything interesting on the way back. I think I'm gonna leave it there today. Paul Dixon, overall, it's a very nice place very nice and relaxed there's not that much to do here though so unless you're with like uh, your family or your friends or loved ones uh, it's great you know but if you're by yourself like like me it's not it's not too interesting really nice place to come and relax though so I do recommend it for that so yeah hope you enjoyed watching this little vlog till next time wonder well my friends